I will show you how important this book is. This is my book, The Block Diagram Master. So I want us to talk about backlight problem in a mobile PCB. Backlight problem in a mobile PCB is a common fault that we are getting every day. And in most cases, we are able to solve the fault. So if you take a look here, you will see that we have this diagram here. So you use this block diagram with the schematic diagram combined to be able to know exactly where you can find these lines and these ICs in a mobile PCB that you are working on. That's why you can see we have all the abbreviations here, all the labels exactly as you would see in a schematic diagram. For example, we have the REG 1P8, the VREG 1.8 rules, which is the power supply of the enable signal of the backlight section. Okay, so let's talk about this, the backlight section here. So this backlight IC problem that I'm talking about is the type of fault. If in case you are, you are new to mobile repairing, it's the type of fault where you try to, to fix the phone that is switching on, you can see the image just a bit. The screen is very dark, you see the image just a bit. No light, no light on the display, which means that the screen is very, dim very dark you see just a little bit of image so that's a backlight fault so in this diagram we have a bigger backlight ic i'm going to make a, another video about a smaller backlight ic the one that we are familiar with the 16 backlight ic so if you want me to make a video about that just let me know in the comment section but for now let's talk a little about a big backlight ic so how is it connected you can see we have the PMU IC, we have the backlight IC itself, and also we have the CPU. I wouldn't be surprised if you ask me what the hell is the CPU doing here, that's okay. So I'm just going to explain, that's basically the reason why I decided to make this video, because we are not talking about the power section of this, we, I want you to, to understand what happens when the, there is that power supply because if you see, you can see that I showed one line, which I sh which I said is the VPH power source. So this VPH power source is the main input of this IC, which is that voltage that needs to be amplified to send to this to the screen connector to light up your screen. So when that input is available and uh, there is no output, there is no uh, both output voltage. What causes that? The cause can be these two ICs. You get why? Because even though this IC gets the main input, it needs an enable signal and a 1.5 volt to be able to enable. To be able to enable. I enable signal. Enable to be able to enable. Okay. So again. The PMU voltage needs to supply this IC, a 1.8 volt, through the enable signal line. So you can see here I said LCM, LED slash EM. So this is exactly how it will be written in your schematic diagram. That's because this enable signal here that's just an enable signal from the CPU. The CPU gives command to this IC to switch on, gives command to the IC to lower or increase their brightness by controlling the voltage, the output voltage of this IC through the enable signal line. And that enable signal line cannot do all that without the 1.5 volt, 1.8 volt, sorry, from the PMU IC. So this is just the enable signal line that we are talking about. We haven't talked about uh, the output voltages and you can see if you check the other section you will see that I've talked about it here I'm just showing you that the book is very important you can get the soft copy or the hard copy you can see the complete diagram here you can talk about that in a different video if you want so just let me know and also let me know if you need the soft copy of the book because I'm in Cameroon you cannot get the hard copy if you are not in Cameroon you can see the book right here well you can also get my courses with a 60% discount right now that's huge that's a lot
that's huge. That, that's a big discount. Where well, I'm saying is mine right here. You can follow for more videos and uh, see you soon.